Hi, this is Larry Jordan, and this is Session 3, Defining Events and Projects. In Final Cut Pro 10, an event is a collection of media files. A project is how you want them edited together. The power of Final Cut Pro 10 is that both events and projects are stored in two separate databases. Because it's a database, it means that any piece of media is now instantly available to any project. There's no more project crashing because you use too many clips. No more importing media files from one project into another. In fact, no more importing media at all into a project before you start editing. You can begin editing while your files are still importing. The word events is used in multiple ways. Media is organized and stored in an event. There's no limit to the number of events you can create. There's no limit to the number of clips that can be stored in one event. All the media for one event is stored in a single folder, and all these event folders are then stored in a master folder called Final Cut Events. There can only be one Final Cut Events folder per hard disk. And this folder can be stored either on locally attached storage, like a single hard drive or a RAID, or on a SAN. An events folder contains all the media and metadata captured from a camera, ingested from a card, or imported from the finder. This includes metadata that is auto-generated. That means that the metadata is calculated by Final Cut during import. Event folders can be shared between projects, can be merged into a single folder, can be moved from one hard disk to another, and can be deleted from Final Cut Pro 10. A key thing to keep in mind about the Final Cut Events folder is that you don't rename the Final Cut Events folder or anything in it. By default, the Final Cut Events folder is stored in your home directory in the Movies folder, but it can be placed on different drives. And for performance reasons, I strongly recommend storing this folder on a second drive, never the boot disk. Media files can either be stored locally or on a SAN, and media files can be copied or linked to an events folder. See, linking points to the file and copying duplicates the file into the events folder and you determine what to do using preferences, and I'll show you how this works in Chapter 3. The Final Cut default is to copy all media files. If you're new to editing, the default setting of copy is probably the best choice. If you're an experienced editor, linking more closely resembles the way that Final Cut Pro 7 worked. Linking also avoids duplicating media, thus reducing storage needs. The power of a database means that Final Cut can organize your files faster and better than the Finder. And speed is at the heart of Final Cut Pro 10. My recommendation is that you store the Final Cut Events folder on a second drive. This provides the best possible performance, and as I mentioned, I'll show you how to do this in Chapter 3. You can create a Final Cut Events folder for each hard drive or RAID attached to your computer. During this training, you're going to see that I'm working with three hard drives, my internal boot drive and two external drives. The way I've personally decided to do this is I've got one drive specifically assigned for media and events, and a second drive specifically assigned for projects. This is absolutely not necessary, but it's the way my brain likes to think, and storage is relatively cheap. At a minimum, you want to have two hard drives attached to your system, the boot drive for the operating system and applications, and a second drive for media and projects. Keep in mind that you're only allowed one Final Cut Events folder per hard drive. You can move event folders between drives using Final Cut Pro 10, the Finder, or third-party utilities. The Final Cut Projects folder is an edit decision database containing edit instructions along with render files and waveforms, thumbnails, and proxy media. Projects can only be stored in the Final Cut Projects folder, but each folder can store an unlimited number of projects. Keep in mind that each project inside Final Cut Pro 10 can only contain one sequence. Projects are associated with a specific event, but can use media from multiple events. 
using media in more than one project doesn't duplicate media because the project itself is just simply a list of files and pointers that point to where we want to stop and end in each one of those files. By default, the Final Cut Projects folder is stored in your home directory in the Movies folder. And, like events, I recommend storing this projects folder on a second drive, never the boot drive. This maximizes performance. You can move the project folder using Final Cut Pro 10 or the Finder or third-party utilities. I'll show you how in Chapter 3. Just as with events, never rename anything inside the project folder. And, also like the Events folder, you can only have one Final Cut Projects folder per hard drive. My recommendation is that you create the Final Cut Projects folder on an attached second drive. It provides faster performance, improved access, greater storage. This folder can be stored on the same drive as the Final Cut Events folder or on a separate drive. And, with the 10.0.1 update, you can also store the Final Cut Projects folder on a SAN. Storing both media and projects to separate databases improves the stability, the flexibility, and the speed of Final Cut. However, the default setting placing both events and projects in the home directory is way too limiting and likely to cause problems. You want to organize your projects and media using Final Cut Pro 10 or the Finder or third-party utilities. Remember to create or move all of your event and project files to a second drive, and don't rename any files created by Final Cut Pro 10 using the Finder. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching.